All right, everybody, I'm on my way to Erie, Pennsylvania to visit John the Weatherman. And we're going to do a drawing talk. And we're going to learn about the weather, and I'm going to teach John how to draw. And I hit eject, mm -hmm. and I took the tape and went to my desk. Right. Well, I got yelled at. Because right. I wasn't allowed to hit eject. Right. Only a union person could hit the eject button. What is this world coming to? When I used to fill in on CBS this morning in mm -hmm. New York, right. you didn't touch the mic. You right. just stood there and they put it on you. And Pull you, my mic there. I can't. You grab my mic. That's I'm a, giving you permission a, to. That's a union violation. <laughs> no, All right. <laughs> this is, it came up that, what, this is like not normal. Oh, yeah, right. not for me to be touching this. Yeah. yeah, but see, we don't do anything <laughs> normal. So tell me your funniest moment that you've experienced on this set. John, you got to look outside. What's going on? I did, but I want to tell everybody first that uh, Simone has never had McDonald's pancakes. I haven't. And it, I, and it's unbelievable. What? John and I went to high school together, and he was the class valedictorian. Uh, I was class president, but I was up there. Remember okay. Brooke, Brooke Heffright? Well, I don't remember name. her. Uh, I was yeah. a fly guy in school. I don't remember these people. Well, it's, he does it because it yeah. was a him. Brooke was a him. But yeah. nonetheless, <laughs> Brooke was a junior who was super smart and graduated yeah. ahead of all of us. And, and also, we, we shared a, uh, a French class together with Madame Fryer. Yeah, and, yeah Madame Fryer. <laughs> I didn't know tout <laughs> Didn't know <learn> anything. <laughs> no. We're here on a draw and talk with me. Oh, yes. And uh, we're going to get started. Because you're an artiste. I am. <laughs> By the time this episode is over, John's going to be an artiste. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Say artiste in French. Artiste. <laughs> I see, think he that's wasn't what a good, it is. He wasn't a good student either. So, you have a secret fetish to get caught in a tsunami or something crazy? And I went through this Chick-fil-A, and this teenager kid was like, I know who you are. I go, right. you know who I am. Like, I, I, you know, I'm not from around here. He goes, no, you're the guy in the blizzard. It is... The worst day of the winter. You are a reporter, but you cannot go home until you do it right. And it doesn't help that you already kind of and resemble I, a snowman, so, and it's just, they just covered you up, right? You like this. <laughs> He always smiled. Everybody knows him for a smile, and he had that Jerry curl. <laughs> he had that, Come on, John, what? You had the Jerry curl. Yeah, all right, Michael Jackson was in. We're gonna pay for that one. Yeah, well, it's true. I'm sorry. So let me ask you, what inspires you to be a meteorologist? I love science, and I love being creative and communicating. Okay. I'm solving a problem every day. Well, let's see if you can solve this problem. Let's see how creative you can be. The perfect weather for you would be what? I. I'm a fan of cloudy and rainy days. It's called pluviophile. And it's somebody who enjoys cloudy and rainy days. And pluviophile. Pluvio what? Pluviophile. Got you. Yeah, yeah. This no. is why he was the valedictorian. <laughs> something to be said about raindrops, and it's something we can look up later, gotcha. but um, they release a, an ion, negative right. ion. Okay. This is why people rush to the ocean. Right. This is why you love hearing the shore and the waves. Right. So when rain happens, it releases negative ions, which is supposed to, to calm you. And this is why, you know, when you take a shower, right. you feel good after you're out of the shower, right? It's because all that water was splashing and creating negative ions. Our goal as weather people is to save lives. You know, a lot of people go, oh, I don't listen to you guys. You guys know what you're talking I just stick my head out the window. But the problem is you right. can stick out your head out the window, but 20 minutes later, there may be a major storm coming you did not know by sticking your head out the window because right. you stuck your head out the window in the south part of your house, but right. you weren't looking on the eastern portion of your house where the right. storm was coming. So everybody, we're going to do just a, put a tree trunk coming up and put some branches there. We want to color it in in a second. Like everybody's opinions are valuable, right? But you, but if you, val if I value your opinion, yeah. you have to value yeah. mine. Right. Who knows? I can show up at your doorstep. 